Did you know you can still use Recycle in the year 2022, soon to be 2023? Great tool for chopping up drum breaks. Folks used to use this in the 90s as an easy way to uh, chop up breaks and then send the chops to your sampler. It just made that process a lot easier. It's still a very useful tool today. And so I have this drum break here. It's chopped up. I sped up the tempo a teeny, teeny bit. Now, I want to just export this and be able to use it in my DAW and trigger it from a sampler. To do this in Recycle, you go to File, Export, and in the File Format options, you can set this as a sound font file. So this is going to contain data on those chops that you can then import into a sampler, such as Tau Sampler, or oftentimes your DAW's default sampler. So with Bitwig, for example, it will work in their multi-sample tool too. But we want this in Tal Sampler, so I'm going to select Sound Font here and just export this. And then I also want to export the MIDI file with it as well. So that way I don't have to reprogram all the different chops and get the length of the notes correctly because I'm not chopping on even divisions. Uh, this is going to be a huge time saver too. So I'm going to export that as well. Now what we're going to get here is a .sf2 file. That's for the sampler. And then we get this MIDI file .mid. So I'm going to drag the MIDI file into my DAW here on the track where Tal Sampler is. And bam, there you go. Right, all those notes are already sequenced there. That's work I don't have to do. Trying to figure this out on my own would have been a huge pain in the ass. But we then need to load the sound font file, the actual sounds, into Tal Sampler. So we're going to open Tal Sampler here, and you're going to go to Startup and Import SF2, Sound Font 2. Then we're going to go into that export folder, find the .sf2 file from Recycle, and hit Open. Then it's going to ask you for a path to do an export for some proprietary Tal sampler files. Uh, put that wherever you want and select export all. So you'll see on the left there, those files get created. And then if I go to layer A here, we'll see that samples loaded in and everything is chopped up on here, all right? So there are all our different chops. And if we play this track, we should be good to go. That's how you do it, folks. There's still a place for tools like Recycle today. Uh, definitely worth the money, in my opinion. It just speeds up that workflow so much. I think it does a good job of chopping and stretching things. Um, and then you can easily get it into Tal Sampler. So once you're in Tal Sampler, you can go in, add that DAC on there, right? Get some, uh, where'd they move the damn DAC to in this new version? The hell is it? On God, am I blind? Oh, oh, here it is, Resampler. There you go, folks. Really cool stuff. Peace out.